So everyone tells you to try NFTs on Tezos, but nobody tells you how. Let me help you with a simple three-step process. How to create a wallet, set up your account on major marketplaces, along with some tips for your account setup, and how to create and collect your first NFT. You're watching Victor Recite, and let's get started. The first two steps are similar for creators as well as collectors. I'll show the collecting part in this video and in part 2 of this video, I'll explain in detail about creating your NFTs on different platforms available on Tezos. Let's head over to Tezos.com to see the available Tezos wallets. So we are on Tezos.com right now. If we go to learn and then store and use, you can scroll down to see all of the different available Tezos wallets. These are the ones given on the official Tezos website, so I'll recommend using one of these. The most common or the most used ones are Kukai and Temple. Kukai is a web-based wallet, so it can be used on mobile as well as a PC, but it doesn't have an app and you have to use it through web only. Temple on the other hand has an extension and also they recently released a mobile app so it's pretty good for this video i'll demonstrate the process with a temple wallet so click on temple and it will take you to the official temple wallet website you can go directly to templewallet.com or go through tezos website also so now we are on the temple wallet website click on download it will show you an extension as well as a mobile version so you can scroll down and since we are using chrome i'll click on install it will open the Chrome Web Store and we'll simply click on Add to Chrome. It will take some time and ask you to add extension. Click on Add extension and it will be downloaded and added automatically. Meanwhile, you can also go to Temple Wallet website again and go to the mobile version and scan the QR code directly from here to download it. Or you can click on the App Store or Google Play link to open the app page. So our wallet has been downloaded and it has been added. It will open up a page automatically for the first setup of your wallet. It will ask you if you want to import an existing wallet. This is used when you, you already have a wallet and you want to import it using your seed phrase or key store files. I'll show you what a seed phrase is as we proceed through the video. So since we don't have a wallet already, we'll click on create a new wallet. So it will bring up a seed phrase which is kind of a security key to get back into your wallet or account in case you lose it or in case you lose the extension from your browser. Think of it as the only recovery for your wallet and make sure to note it down somewhere safe preferably using pen and paper and not digitally. Click on this protected area to reveal this field and it will show you a random collection of words which will be your seed phrase. Click on I made seed phrase backup and it shows you right here that if I lose the phrase, my funds may be lost. So make sure you click on this and you note it down somewhere safely. Now click on next and here it will ask you to fill in the words from your seed just to confirm that you have actually written it down somewhere safe. So I'll just add mine. Also make sure in any circumstance, do not share your seed phrase with anyone on the internet as it can be used to steal your funds. Now click on next to verify your phrase and here you can set a password. So I'll just quickly add a password. Now you can opt in to send anonymous information or analytics or you can opt out also. If you are already a user, you can skip onboarding. That is it will give you tips and information when you use it. And next you have to accept the terms. So I'll leave these two unticked and click on accept terms and click on create. So a wallet has been created. Click on got it. And here we have the onboarding process. So this is your address and this is your balance. Click on next. This is how you can interact with the wallet and what are the options available. Click next. These are your tokens and assets. When you buy it as it will show up like this. And when you buy NFTs or mint NFTs, these will show up under collectibles. Click on next and this is your profile and the networks. Click on done and click on start. So this is your wallet and you can see we have zero tests and if we go to collectibles, we have nothing here and tokens also is empty. So you can click here to rename your account. Let's say 
this is just a name to represent your wallet and it will be only visible to you so if you click on this profile picture it will show up here you can click here to create or restore your account that is to add new accounts click here to import account with a seed phrase of your old account and this is your wallet address this is the main thing you are going to use in case you want to send tezos to this wallet or send any nft to this wallet so if you click here you can actually copy your full address so we have set up the wallet now let's see the extension if it's not already here click on this extensions button and click on this pin icon if you click that the temple wallet will be pinned to your extensions bar so click on this and it will show the same interface here now you can just close this tab and move out of it if you are not new into cryptocurrencies you already know how to use an exchange to get any crypto and send it to a wallet binance bitfinex coinbase are some of the popular names so i'll show you an example of how to withdraw your tezos from binance in this case so i'm in my binance dashboard and in my wallet so after you have purchased crypto you search for the coin in your wallet so search for tez or xtz which is the symbol and click on withdraw the coin is already chosen as tezos now we need an address to send and a network so for the address you go to your temple wallet and then you need to pick this address keep in mind if you bought a tezos domain it will look something like this so you cannot put this name in your address bar you need to switch to the lengthy or the full address so click on this hash to switch between new alphanumeric wallet address and the domain address so i'll click this hash again and i'll click here to copy it to clipboard then i'll just paste it here so it automatically chose the network as tezos so wallet address automatically matched to corresponding network you put in amount here here and click on withdraw when you click on withdraw it will ask you for an otp on your mobile as well as linked email address when you enter the otp the transaction will be confirmed and the tezos will be sent to your specified wallet address let's now connect to object which is the biggest and most popular marketplace on tezos so just search object on google and click on the first link which is object.com so when you open up object for the first time click on this sync button at the top right hand corner so click on sync and it will ask you to choose your wallet click on temple slash tezos wallet if you are following this tutorial if you selected some other type of wallet you can click that such as kukai or airgap so click on temple and it will ask you to confirm the transaction enter your password to unlock your wallet and then select your wallet you can see as we named it first test wallet it's here if you have multiple wallets all the list will show up here and you can select whichever you want so click on connect and click on confirm sign so this is how you connect your wallet to object so if we click on my profile picture which is not loading here click on that and click on profile you will see that we don't have an account name and how you can turn this into something like this so what you are seeing here is my current profile i have a username a description my twitter and website linked my profile picture and a tezos domain instead of a long wallet address so let's fix it for your object profile head over to tz profiles you need to sync your wallet using this connect wallet button and fill out the details in the form for the domain you need to buy one using tezos domains i've already covered these two topics in depth on creating your profile and getting a tezos domain and i'll leave the link to those videos in the description as well as pinned comment on this video so i'm back in my main account and you can see i have a profile as well as domain now let's purchase your first nft so you can go to the home page and see some gems and hot collections here you can also see trending auctions here and curated categories you can click on any of these such as ai art and it will open up the category and you can browse through it so let's say i found this nft and i want to buy it this tab shows you the listing so the creator has listed 16 of them currently for two tezos 
so you can also scroll down to history and check all the events that have happened before so you can see they minted 25 and listed 24 at two tezos at this time and these are the sales that happened after that so if i just want to buy it directly i'll click on buy for two tezos and then it will ask you to confirm so click on confirm and that will confirm your purchase so you will see this loading takes place here and after that is finished it will show your purchase was successful it will open up the nft and it will show that it is at option for 7.7 .7 instead of a buy now option so i'll click on it and it will lead us to the auction page we can see the history of the auction here this was started by this wallet at 5 tezos then bid by this at 6 then bid by this at 7 sometimes the increment is more than 1 tezos so you need to enter that much higher amount than the last bid so i'll put on 9 here and click on place bid then it will ask for a confirmation in the wallet and you just confirm it and wait for the bid to appear on the auction page so the bid amount has been reflected here that is 9 xtz which we used but the list has not been updated yet so it should cross out this name soon and put my wallet address here okay so now the list has also been updated so you can see my wallet address here and the bid of 9 xtz here so now when someone bids more than me on this auction my tezos will be returned but they are not returned as tezos directly but as wrapped tezos as you can see it is oxtz here so if you click on the wallet next to your profile you can see an xtz as well as an oxtz balance one tezos is equal to one wrapped tezos but wrapped tezos is the currency used to bid on auctions on object so if you have an oxtz balance you just click on wrap unwrap and from here you can convert either tezos into wrap tezos or you can click this arrow in the middle and it will change the conversion from wrap tezos to unwrap tezos so when you get the wrap tezos back you put in the amount here and click on unwrap it will just ask you for a confirmation transact in your wallet again and it will just unwrap your tezos back let's see how you can make an offer to an nft that is already sold but you want to buy it so let's say you find this nft and you want to buy it but you see that there is no buy button here because that is already sold so you go to the actions tab and put in a value of tezos you want to offer of course you want to put an offer higher than the last sold price of the piece so let's say i want to offer five tezos on this one so i'll click on offer and just confirm the transaction so now in this nft you can see that it has an offer from me at a value of five tezos so you can cancel the offer from here also or the current owner can accept the offer from here also if he wants to sell it just before i end this video there's one last thing i want to discuss about that is a bot which gives you notifications about your tezos balance as well as the actions you do on nfts so if you go to the profile crypto noises on twitter you will find a bot there so click on this website and it will lead you to the website you can activate it on the discord also and you can activate it on the telegram also i personally use it on telegram and i just clicked on activate bot from my mobile and then it took me to telegram then it guides you through the setup process you just add your wallet address and then you are good to go then whatever action you do will be reflected and you will get notified on the bot in the next part of this video we'll talk about how to create or mint your nft and the different platforms available for creators so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one